Hello and welcome to the very final Adweek Daily Digest, or the Weekly Digest as it is. Where I'm turning the tables here. Cameron Clark, our managing editor of Scotland, has been presenting them all week. Uh, but I'm turning the tables to ask him the questions as to what's been the great stuff that, uh, that he's seen this week. Um, so we're here on the drum bus, which is, we're having our very own closing party. So, um, so cheers. cheers. If you're watching this at 10 o'clock in the morning in an office, this is gonna make you feel slightly ill. Mm. Oh, that's good. Cheers to you. So Cameron, what have been the general themes this week that you think have been the interesting things people have been talking about? Well, I think it's all the stuff you'd expect, Dave. Um, creativity, obviously we're here at Adweek, it would be remiss of us not to talk creativity. But the interesting thing with that was that I saw two talks this week from completely different people, Jimmy Carr and Dave Trott, the great stalwart of advertising, both making very similar points. Um, so Jimmy Carr said that advertising is not as funny as it used to be, and Dave Trott said that advertising is not as good as it used to be. And they both arrived at those conclusions for similar reasons. Jimmy Carr thinks that most brands are too afraid to offend, too afraid to upset anyone. He thinks advertising has become quite safe. Uh, and Dave Trott thinks that advertising has become a little overcomplicated, that we've become obsessed with all these buzzwords and new terminology when really we should just be focusing on the consumer and not trying to, to baffle them. So you told me that Jimmy Carr used to be an ad man. Yeah, so Jimmy, I never knew that. Jimmy Carr started his career as an ad man. Then he said he got tired of marketing directors phoning him up and asking for stuff. So he moved client side. And then during his spare time, started gigging. It was obviously very funny. And then packed in marketing altogether. So I don't know if anyone's thinking of a career move on, uh, on this, uh, <laughs> listening to this episode, but, uh, but you could probably get some tips from Jimmy Carr. There you go, following his footsteps, fantastic. So we've been doing lots of stuff on the bus all week. It's almost been like a little separate venue for, for ad week. You've been on the bus for some of those sessions. What's the thing that really stood out for you, apart from the sessions I was running, of course? Your sessions were fantastic, Dave, of <laughs> course. I think the most interesting, uh, crazy thing I saw was uh, Stephen Lepertak's balloon debate. So the idea behind this is to imagine that you're on a hot air balloon, it's sinking, and the only way to survive is to throw people off. And the people who are on the balloon have got to make a really strong case for why they're in there. So we took that and put a marketing slant on it and got people from different disciplines within marketing, advertising, digital and PR and so on, uh, to make the case for why their discipline is the future of marketing. The result was a little bit surprising. Right. So we had digital, uh, that didn't get thrown off the bus, so digital made it to the final okay. round, we'd maybe expect that. Um, but PR, beautifully argued by Jane Wilson of MHP Communications, perhaps proving the point that PR is very good at doing PR, um, but in the end it was a tie. So we threw people off the bus at weird and wonderful spots all around London. They were just dumped wherever the audience voted them off, uh, but it was PR and digital uh, that prevailed. So maybe that tells us something about where the industry's heading. What are the other things that have been happening in the main part? Where there, there's been a bunch of celebrities this week. Who, who have we had this week and why do you think Adweek get lots of celebrities in. Yeah, there's been a weird and wonderful cast of characters. So today we had Grayson Perry, we've had Katie Price, we've had Rio Ferdinand, the footballer, Jeremy Paxman. I think it's, it's interesting for people in the industry to hear a different perspective. It's very easy for us to sit here and navel gaze and repeat a lot of the same things that we hear time and time again at different conferences. One of the nice things about Adweek is that we've had that outside perspective and that's the only reason, the only way rather, that we can learn about whether brands and ads are effective when we hear from the people who are at, at the front of them. So, you know, when we hear from someone like Rio Ferdinand, who's built a very successful brand out of his image as a footballer about how he's done that, I think that's more powerful than just hearing any other branding agency talking about their creds and, and what they do. What, what, there was another thing that we've done um, as, as the drum is we, we had a big board at Piccadilly, a big digital board where we've been asking questions. What do you think was the most interesting questions and responses we got this week? Well, I think the most interesting one by far, because it's very topical at the moment, was about smartwatches and whether we really need them. The striking thing about that, despite all the hype about the Apple Watch and other makers, is that just 24% of people who responded to our question said that they wanted, needed a smartwatch right now. Um, and I think that's really striking when you've got Apple running big campaigns trying to persuade people to buy smartwatches that aren't cheap. The most expensive models run into the thousands of pounds. So for the people in the industry who weren't here, who didn't make it down to Advertising Week, do you think they've missed out? 
think they have. I mean, I think that um, with any of these conferences, there's a lot of things that you hear time and time again. Uh, but I think, I think there has been some quirky, interesting debate. I think hearing from people like Grayson Perry, it's very rare that you get to hear from some of these, these really interesting characters and get them to talk in a way that is relevant to advertising, something that you can learn from that. I think there is some value in that. And I think, yeah, people will be watching this now, seeing us having a beer on the drum bus and thinking that maybe they should be with us too. Fantastic. So there you go. Maybe next year you're going to have to get your ticket to, to Advertising Week Europe um, or even if you're in the States to, to Advertising Week in New York. But that's us for the week. I think we raise a glass to you, dear viewer, and go thank you very much for following us and uh, we will see you very soon. Cheers. Cheers.